we knew at the very beginning that water was going to be you know, one, of, one yeah. of the stars of the game. Yeah, we did research on what other people were doing. Uh, yeah. We looked at uh, what they do in movies, yeah. what, how Hollywood solves the same problem, and just experimented with lots of things until we found something that gave us what we needed. It gave us the dynamic control, but also gave us something that looked really good. Yeah, all those different layers from, from, your, from yourself or from the rendering team or from, from the art team. Yeah. It just builds and builds and builds. And yeah. I think it's still... People always tell me they're still working on water related things. Oh, so I think yeah, still, still li lots of improvements still come yeah. as well. One of the reasons the water looks so good is because of the way light behaves when it hits it. Yeah, so obviously the, we needed to make the water look good at, in, in daytime and nighttime. So we've got great looking sunsets where yeah. you see the reflections and all the sparkles on the yeah. water. Yeah, and I think it's great isn't it? because you can, you can start to see that that, that ready gold uh, yeah. in the morning just as kind of nighttime finishes. Yeah. Just on the surface of the water, you know, right, it's going to get a bit brighter now, sun's going to come up, yeah, you're going to yeah. be able to see other ships easier. Yeah, and actually, picks up all that colour. That's it, and this, you can kind of read the time of day almost ahead of time if you look at the water. Sea of Thieves is a multiplayer game, so it's really important, isn't it, that everyone sees the same representation of the water. Yeah, yeah. Because of course if you're having a, like a naval battle, then you can't have different ships that are bobbing up and down differently. That's it, everyone needs to see the same big waves and yeah. kind of plan their strategy around yeah. those. It, I mean, that's actually surprisingly easy because of the way the water is generated, it's all kind of deterministic, so we can recreate it from a starting value and a time. And yeah. So we can just synchronize that between players and then they can reproduce exactly the same thing. So the water behaves in, in different ways, doesn't it, across the world? Yeah. Like it's different in the calm bays than it is in the kind of out to the yeah. oceans. You've kind of got different simulations uh, that you have to consider like around shorelines. Uh, you've got water that's much more like a pond and then you've yeah. got deep ocean where the waves can be several meters high that can really rock a big yeah. ship around. With the way that we're generating the water, we're kind of starting from a sort of photorealistic base and then that allows artists to go and work on top of that and yeah. add stylization wherever they want. Yeah. And because they're working on top of something that behaves correctly, it's easy for them to get something that looks stylized but still behaves like water. Yeah, and I think that's a trick, isn't it? Because it looks, it, it still looks vibrant, it still yeah. looks colorful, but Everyone that sees it says how real it looks, and it's it's a really nice it's a really nice blend that we managed to keep some of that correct kind of water behaviour, yeah. um, and uh, but still you know blend it in with our game and, and kind of keep the style that we want.